So y'all know y'all be making up all these aesthetics. This is something <laughs> and I like it. Good job, Kui Kui. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Jess and here I talk about style, beauty, and lifestyle through a size inclusive lens. And today, we're doing an Eloquy haul. I also bought two pieces from Gabriella Krika Johnson's Target collection, so I'm gonna try those on for you too. Um, I'm really excited to get into this Eloquy haul because I really think that Eloquy is the plus size Zara, um, and you know how the girlies love to tussle over Zara. Eloquy is giving that, but size inclusive, so I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. Everything that I bought will be linked below for you to purchase. Um, it will be a very honest review, although these pieces from Eloquy were gifted to me. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right. First up are these black shorts. I kept the tag on just in case I don't like anything. I'm seeing these in real time with you guys. So we'll see what we're going to keep and what we're going to get rid of. So these are the black front seam shorts. And I'm not going to lie, they're giving me very much so Isabel Morant. I'll pop a picture up so you guys have a reference for what I'm talking about. I am a sucker for a plus size dupe for a luxury item that may not come in our size. So these are actually such a wonderful dupe for the Isabel Morant shorts. Bombastic side eye. Um, here's the back. I like the length on these. They're not too short. I feel like I have enough room in the thigh area so that I'm not like chafing when I walk. Um, I always size down in Eloquii denim just because I feel like their waistband tends to run a bit big. So these I got in a size 16. And for the sake of this video, I just threw on a Skims tank top. This is look number one. Um, in my book, two thumbs up. Good job, Kui Kui. All right, for this next one, I kept the same shorts on and just threw this top on. It's a pink button-down shirt. This I asked for a size 24. Um, so I wanted it to be a bit oversized. I actually prefer my button downs to be just a bit baggy. I don't know. I just don't like really tight clothes as much unless it's like that's really the intention. Other than that, I want to have some flow. I want to have some like space to move around. I really like this. It feels kind of like a typical cotton blend that you would get at Target, but I wanted a nice rich pink color. Um, the sleeves are a bit long on me. I do have shorter limbs though, so if you are a taller girl, this actually might work great for you. I'm not sure if it's because I sized up that I have a little bit more fabric at the bottom, but either way, you can see like if I were to really let it be the normal length, this is how long they would be and you can only see my fingertips. Um, this is the size 24 and I'm typically a size 16, 18 in Eloquy. Yeah, there's nothing really special about this shirt, but I do like it. I don't even know. Maybe I would even like wear it like this. Let's see. Let me not lie to y'all. I can tuck it. Yeah, it's not bad to tuck and wear it like this together. This is a super casual look. Throw on some sandals or even a sneaker and some sunglasses. And you know, you're going out to run errands during the summertime. This is a great like grocery store outfit. I don't hate it. Okay, so next up we have another button down. This time in a satin lime, lime green. This um, I ordered in a size 24 as well because I wanted it to be a bit oversized. I personally love this sort of fabrication. It's like a faux satin sort of vibe, so it is a little bit cooler, um, especially now that it's getting warm outside. I don't like anything that's polyester-y um, just because that tends to just be hot and I don't like to be hot. Um, so this is kind of like cool to the touch. The one thing that I will say about this fabric is that when you spill anything oil-based on it or even water, it tends to stain. And personally, I am one of the cl most clumsy people I know. I spill something on myself literally all of the time. I, like there's always some sort of accident involving me and my clothes. So just do with that information as you wish. A cool feature about this, and I don't know if this is the intention, but if you guys can see there's like a hole here. And for me, I feel like that's an invitation to like 
put your thumbs through? <laughs> Maybe it's not the intention, but I kind of feel like it's a vibe. So I would kind of rock it like this where the fingertips are just kind of poking through. I don't know if it makes it look a little funny on the arms, but I liked how this felt. Again, we don't have to, I'm not gonna tuck this one, but you can see like you could wear it with shorts, maybe this with some wide leg jeans and like a pointy toe heel and a nice bag. Just keep it simple to let them top be the moment. I know some people are not color people, but doing a button down shirt that's a color with a different, like a jean or a slack or something is a fun way to bring color into your wardrobe without over committing. Um, of course, like a dress or some pants that are colors are a little bit harder, but a shirt, it's super simple, a very simple and easy way to wear color. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video where I style out these pieces. I'm happy to do that, but for now we'll just stick to the haul. Okay, I'm back in the Skims tank top to show you guys this brown suit. First impressions, I'm not gonna lie, I don't love these pants. They are very thin for starters, so if you are looking for like a thinner material for the summer, it is like a linen, but they are kind of scratchy. Like They're like itching my legs and I can tell is the minute I get hot, this will just like irritate the crap out of me. The jacket is fine. I wanted like a brown, chocolate brown blazer for just different outfits, but I'm not sure that I'm in love with this one. I think maybe it's the linen in it that's not giving me the vibe that I want. I will say that it has like this pretty like pearl-esque detail on the button, but other than that, I don't know if I really love it. Maybe I'm tripping. I'll look back and maybe I'll like it on me when I'm <laughs> editing this video, but right now I'm not really feeling like this is my vibe. Um, both of these are in a size 18, but yeah, I mean, I think like aesthetically this could be cute even with just like a t-shirt or a tank, like how I have it, maybe not this gray color, but I don't know. I don't feel like this is particularly my style and I don't love the fabric, like the linen feel of this. Like this is just not, not for me personally, um, but it could be for someone. I'm going to show you guys the back. The waistband on this is pretty fine. It's an 18. I have just a little bit of room. I think the 16 definitely would have been a little too tight if I'd gone smaller in this. The, the blazer feels fine. Like it feels pretty true to size for an 18. Yeah, this is it. I don't, I don't love it. I don't love it. Right. Now we have this beautiful slip dress. I'm wearing this in a size 16. When I saw this dress online, I like, was like, oh no, 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 I need that. This is the thing that got me to be like, oh, maybe I should ask Ella Queen for some stuff. This is totally my vibe. And I know a lot of you are gonna be like, girl, that's a nightgown. Why are you trying to play like that's not a nightgown? One man's trash is another man's treasure. One woman's nightgown is another woman's outside outfit. Okay? Negligee or not, I'm going outside, babes. I love the feel of this. It is that satiny material, which like I said before, is very cool to the touch, especially for summertime. I don't know if this is giving Coastal Grandma or um, Ballet core or something else. Y'all know, y'all be making up all these aesthetics. This is something, <laughs> and I like it. Um, I honestly think this would be cute to even just go out to brunch with your friends, throw on a jean jacket, or maybe the person you're dating like hits you up and was like, oh, what you doing tonight? Like, let's go get a drink. And then you go to the bar, you slip that jacket off. Eight, baby. And they about to eat, baby. If you catch my... They said, I want to rock, rock with you. I want to groove with you. That's what they're going to be doing. <laughs> Anywho, the dress is asymmetrical. So it is longer on one side than it is the other. I know it doesn't really have a lot of shape to it. But I'm okay with that because, like I said before, I really appreciate comfort. I don't want to feel like restricted or anything like that. And I think this does a great job. The straps are adjustable on this. Ignore the bra, I didn't feel like taking that off. But I think this is a vibe. I think this is a very pretty romantic dress. This is 100% something that I would wear. It feels timeless in the sense that like it could definitely be something that 
was sold in the 50s and the 60s and like we thrifted and picked up today uh, this is definitely giving like 1960s honeymoon lingerie you know like Robert <laughs> anywho as you can see I love this dress right along now we have this tie top back in these shorts um, I'm gonna tie it on camera I just wanted you guys to see how it looked without it tied uh, I'm not gonna lie I wear a 40h in bras and I think I got this in a 18 I'll confirm it's either a 16 or an 18 and you girls the girl barely fit in here one thing that I really appreciate is that it has that like rubber I don't know what to call this I think my boobs are too big that it's not really working so it is like flaring out to the side a bit but if you have smaller boobs this actually would be really nice I actually don't hate the way this looks like I give ho way way too often so this having this boobage for me isn't a problem but for people who are more cautious about having coverage on their boobs this may not be the vibe for you all right so even me doing this, I do get a little bit of a cinch in the middle, if you can see, and it brings my boobs closer together. All right, cleavage, all right, quick, quick. We get in that cleavage. I'm just gonna do a basic bow. It's gonna be very ugly, so don't judge me. I would never wear it like this. Why did I do that? Ew. You know what? <laughs> we not doing that. We gonna do a nice little knot. Okay, so here it is like tied, just like in a knot, letting it hang. Honestly, this is a cute summer top for the beach. If you're on vacation like this would be such a cute vibe this some nice sunglasses some wide leg pants some slides your nice little raffia bag I could totally see this like being such a vibe and maybe I should have gone up a size I mean I like the cleavage but I don't know I feel like I've got cleavage up here and if I move the wrong way not that I it's gonna fall out I don't think that's the problem but I definitely don't know that I feel secure. This is not a top you can wear a bra with, you know? Like, even a strapless bra would not go with this. Um, there is some elastic in the back, so people who are worried about having enough room, there's definitely some stretch back there. I even like the print. I'm not a print girl, like, at all, really. But this print doesn't bother me too much. It's giving, like, I'm in Cabo, you know? This is a Cabo look. I do want to go back. Cabo's beautiful, by the way. If you haven't been, you should. All right, so the eloquy portion of this haul is now finished, and we are now into the Target Future Collective collection. I don't know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I am always late to the party. I don't try to buy stuff from that collection until I sat on it a while because I feel like I have a tendency to get carried away with spending when I see something that's shiny and new and I'm like oh I gotta have it gotta have it and it's like girl do you really need to have it or are you just excited because it's new and everybody's talking about it so I like to let things manifest in my spirit for a while before I actually purchase stuff but these I could not get them out of my mind I kept thinking about them and then I saw Simi posted a, a video with her wearing them and like a model at my agency Aspen she also posted them and I was like okay yeah we're gonna get them and I'm so glad like let me whoop, show you guys the waistband I'm wearing these in an 18 the waist is very good like I have a little bit of room in the back but nothing that I'm not used to and I like the length I like the cut of these it is very much so a jort it is like between a short and a capri and a gaucho some people don't love this vibe i think it is the perfect androgynous short where like it kind of is giving masculine vibes but depending on how you style it it can be extremely feminine this is definitely definitely a keep a win gabriella carifa johnson did her thing but like when doesn't she she's a legend and if you don't know who she is please inform yourself you're late. I've seen a lot of people wearing these like longer shorts with like boots and that could be a vibe like although it's hot as hell in New York today it hasn't like hit the hot hot days yet so I might still have some time to wear some boots with this if not you know when the fall comes back around I'll definitely try to style these with some boots but 
I think this is a win in my book. I definitely will be wearing these quite a bit. You will see these in my rotation quite often this summer. This is the last thing. This is the uh, Gabriella Karifa Johnson um, midi dress in black. It is quite simple of a dress, but I will say one thing. This thing is comfy. The fabric of this is very, very cozy. It's very, very light. It's great for summertime. Show you guys the back. Obviously, you see the back goes a bit low, so you wouldn't be able to wear a bra. Also, I don't know if it's because my boobies are just so big, but like on the side here, you can see that it, it does scoop a bit. So if anything, I would have to use like bra tape to lift me up, which I'm not opposed to, but I don't know that I necessarily want to do. As I do have something similar. I have the Skims dress, but I have like the racerback one. It's not the viral spaghetti strap dress, but it's the, um, it kind of looks like an auto linger dress, but it's black and ribbed, similar to this, and it's a maxi. I don't know that this is something that I need to keep, because I have so many black dresses that I don't know that it's necessarily important to have this. Like, you know, like I don't feel like I would die if I didn't have it. I do love the fit. I do like the, the feel of it. Um, I like where it hits on my calf. I think this is a great dress to just go. Like, if you wanna just get up and go. If you have nice perky boobies, unlike mine, this would be great for you, cause like, you really can just throw this on and do whatever. Um, maybe some Converse with this or some like Air, Air Maxes. Um, sandals, of course, are cute. If you want to dress it up and put on a heel, you could also do that. Um, the and opportunities are endless for this. It also comes in purple, I believe. I know the new Target collection just came out and I don't know if that means that this is no longer available online and you can only find it in clearance, in the clearance section in store. I'll do a check on that, but um, I think I got this for 15 bucks, so you can't really beat that, but I don't know that I need it. So that's everything, you guys. I feel like we sped through this haul. It was, felt a lot quicker than I thought it would. Those pieces on Eloquy, I will link below. If the pieces for the Target Collective collection are available, I also will link that below. Um, Overall, I feel like there are some good pieces. Some things definitely will have to be returned. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much to Eloquy for gifting me those pieces. And you guys know, if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on the little notification bell so that you guys don't miss the video. I'm so grateful that you guys are here with me. Thanks for watching. Until next time.